Hello everyone, Shaver1000 here. Today what's in this box is, as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, this is a vintage fishing reel. Not just any vintage fishing reel, it's my favorite reel in the whole world. Let's open this up and let's check this out. Okay, if you guys remember a few years ago, I made a video of a Zebco 33. It was vintage. It was from, we were guessing, someone gave me some ideas on, they thought it was a 1984, and they knew a lot about it, so I trust and believe that they, they knew it was an 84. This is a 1985 Zebco 33 with a metal foot. Now, the one that I had before, Got, it's it's out in the Gulf Gulf of Mexico somewhere. It's out in the Gulf Coast. Uh, a, a fish pulled my whole reel and rod in that day, and it just happened to be the one that had my favorite. This this is the first one I ever used in my life. Not this particular one, but the Zebco 33 was the first reel I ever used in my life, and I absolutely loved it. So let's. Go ahead and open this up right now. Because this one's, you can still, you can buy these really cheap. They're, they usually run about 20 bucks. Now, if you're going to get one, make sure you get one that has the metal foot, not the plastic foot. The plastic foot ones are the newer style. Um, always make sure you, you want to get the one with the metal foot. They're more vintage, they're older and they last you longer. Now I never broke one with a plastic foot, but I like the metal because I know I'm really getting a, a more vintage one. Now this one is kind of special. Like I said, you can buy them all day. Like uh, you, you can buy like three of them, you know, like on, on eBay and stuff. You can, you can find like, like them, three of them for like 50 bucks you i say i seen uh one they had a lot of them which means there was five in this lot and for like 90 bucks i don't need five i just wanted the one so, but this one's really special because it comes in the original box And this is a 1995 or 1985, excuse me, with the original box. This is the um, the um, exclusive. It's the Feather Touch cast control. I don't know how they got that in there? We're just going to do this. All right, let's check this out. Original box. Okay, something seems to be amiss with this because it was supposed to be the one that has the metal foot on it. Tell you what I gave for it. I gave 20 bucks for it. It's supposed to be in perfect working condition. It doesn't seem to be. But the reason why I bought it was it comes with the original paperwork, the instruction manual. And while well, owner's manual, the original card you got with it, and it also came with the original tube of grease. It says 33 Classic right on it, and it's still got the grease inside there. It's missing a piece here. 
which it did not say anything about. It said it was in working, in perfect working order. Man, I was really excited about this thing too. Let's, let's cut the string off of here. Someone was detected at your front door. Let's try to get this. Try to get the string off of here. I mean, at least it is a 33, the older style, but it said in the description metal foot and had pictures of the metal foot. I bought this on Etsy. Yeah, I'm a little ticked off right now. I'm missing here. And I can't remember what it is that is missing. There's a break there's a parts breakdown. Just like this. It's missing the bait click this should twist and then pop off okay it's just got old grease in it that could be yeah it's going to need cleaned out This should take the spool off. Alright, got the spool off. Alright, I'm going to spray some WD-40 in there and try to get that grease out of here and see if I can get this lubed up to get this to push the way it's supposed to be pushed. There's a little wear, nothing major though. Let me spray this down. Okay guys, I got that all cleaned out. This does not go down in here. So someone's took it apart, tried to work with it or something. I don't know. This doesn't go there. This goes down on here. Then this goes off on top of here. Then this goes on. I'm still missing the the click, which I think you can still get these parts. Whoops. That goes on there like that. And then this will screw on. What I like to do is I like to hold that back so it doesn't get caught in there. And screw that on. Okay, now all right now I got to fix the reverse the you can reverse these things and I think this part is worn out because that shouldn't just pop out like that it's not really worn out it's just yeah the clip was broke so well, it was cracked. I seen it earlier, so I have to get one of them. Just it just it keeps it from spinning backwards. All right. So now, which I was going to get one of these anyway because it didn't want to stay in right. But I don't like that. You know, it was missing that part. That's just the dog in there. These are real hard to... Hang on a second. Yeah, overkill, right? But just turn that. And then... We're just going to pop that off. Just like that. There's that dog. Or 
uh, Paul. That's what works your when it goes when you flip it backwards, so it doesn't you know go like that. So um, there's not a lot of movement. I thought there'd be more than that, but there's not. So that's good. Uh, now let's check our drag and see if our drag works. It does work. Oh yeah. So the drag's working. So I am missing a part. And this part was broke. Um, so. All this does is hold this in there. You can fix them. I usually buy new parts when it needs the new parts so but I wanted to show you that so I got this working so that's working like it should it's fairly clean now it wasn't before it had all that old grease in it someone I don't know what kind of grease they used but it wasn't what you should use I mean I've used I think maybe they just put too much in it. I have used on these before. Um, just regular grease for cars. You just use a little bit in a pinch. But normally what I like to use on these is just a little bit of Vaseline. You know, it's waterproof because, you know, you're going to get water up inside of here. I mean your fishing lines wet you know and uh, when you reel it in spam call Saturday afternoon I'm getting spam calls I usually mess with them but okay now check our drag Okay, working fine. Now, let's see here. Now, let's push the button in. Okay. Very nice. But, so let's see, where's this dog go? Just like that. And this one in here, you can fix these and, and they will last a while. That's off. That should be on. That's supposed to flip down there. Might have to oil that up a little bit more. No. Yeah. There, it's working. So I just got to get that little plastic piece. There. All that does is hold that in there. So I'm going to get that. And this is for my clicker. Here. My bait click. Um, so, <clears throat> am I happy with it? I'm not happy that they w weren't honest with me. I mean, I probably still, I don't know. I'm not, I, I'm, I might have bought it just because of the, um, just because, you know, the box and the original grease and stuff, but. So, yeah, let me see if I can, I think I can still order them. I still need to clean it up a little bit more in here. This is a little worn. Because this piece here, all this does is hold it in there. And it's still not working exactly the way it should. So, 
So, my guess is this has a little wear to it. It's not bad. I'm guessing down in here where this paw goes, there's a little bit of grease. I see it down in there, down in there to keep this from moving freely. So let me get that cleaned out some more. And then, uh, yeah, I see some grease down in here too. So, let me get that cleaned out some more. And I'll let you know if I can get these parts, which I'm sure I can. If not, you know, I can, I can get another one and use the parts out of it. But, I mean, it's usable. course it's going to need new string I've got new string I had monkey pick me up some new string the other day she was a Walmart say you need anything I said yeah give me some spider wire so okay all right I fixed these before, it's not a big deal. I might do it, but I might just leave it out. So okay, so let me see if I can find them parts. And I'm also gonna let them know I don't like that they were dishonest with me. So yeah, I'll keep you posted on that too, so stick around for a minute. Okay, so I found that piece that I need online and the clicker. The clicker, the bait clicker is just, it just makes a noise when you have it flipped over to a certain way. It just rubs on that gear in there. It's not a big deal. But I did find that part too, so that's good. Um, but the thing of it is, is I got to hold, like I said, it was Etsy. I got to hold the seller. The seller's an asshole. I said, you have another one, you know, that you can send me, I'll send this one back, or, you know, I said, even a partial refund, can you do that? Nope, you bought it as is. I said, I know I bought it as is, but I said, it states, clearly states it was working. She said, no, it does not. You need to go back and look at the listing again, and I did. Sure enough, it didn't, but I was smart. I screenshotted that before I sent any messages, so I sent her a screenshot. And said, well, what's this? And she said, well, that's probably from another company. I said, you know, right there, you're a lying bastard. I went off on a bitch. You know, whatever. Whatever. Stupid people. You know, try to trick me like that. So, but that way, she's got a screen. Or she, she can say, you know, look, it says, clearly says it. And I know it didn't say it. But I was smart enough and I beat her to it. I screenshotted the original. But it doesn't matter now. So, Whatever. People like that want to be assholes, be assholes. You know, I turned her into Etsy. I'm tired of messing around with shit like this. You know, damn it. You know, if it was as is, I would be okay. I expected that it's as is. But it was supposed to be a working condition. I mean, you know, I, I had to fully dismantle it. There was parts in the wrong place. You saw that, you know, and I go to order two parts. Jesus. Gonna be like $18 to get them two parts. I gave 20 for the real, and I can get these all day long for 20 bucks in working condition. Granted, they don't have the box, the original box, and all that stuff, but man, you know. Sheesh. Just some people. Money hungry. Ugh. That's what I told her, too. I said, man, you, you know, you, you're just a greedy bastard. All you want's money. Money, money, money. You know, who cares about this shit? And I, how the hell did you get 100% positive feedback? You know, five-star seller or whatever. 100% positive. How? How? That's what I'd like to know is how. Because I know I'm not the only one the seller has done it to. Yeah, it's... Ridiculous. Stupid. Just plain stupid people, man. Oh, well. Alright, so... I do have this part... Ordered. 
Well, I got both the little parts ordered and then it's going to be uh, Monkey's picking me up a new rod. My rod, one of the eyes is broke on it. And it was one, one of her dad's old ones that I had repaired before I did a video on it. That part of it's working fine. The part I repaired is fine. But another part where I had to, I think I, um, shoot, what do you call it? I used uh, JB Weld on it. And from being in the car, I think it just, it just broke off again. So, but she's picking me up a, a rod because I asked her if I could use her pink one. She was like, well, I'm at Walmart. You just want me to pick you one up? Yeah, just grab a cheap one, you know, until I can get a good one. So, that was her right there. But, yeah, so that's that. So, when she gets gets that here, I'm going to, um, I'll put it on there. Maybe we'll take it out more and try it out or something. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see, but I do want to get it out and try it out. Yeah, and I, and I said, what, you know, I said, what's up with the, why, why has it got the plastic foot and not the steel foot, you know? Well, all I can, the only advice I can give you is, is re, read the description better next time. I said, I read it just perfectly fine. I just sent you a screenshot. I'm not going to argue with you no more. Yeah, I, I didn't figure you would. I did not figure you would. But, okay, so that's what we're going to do. But, you know, it just... Just ignorant, you know, just to, to sell somebody something like this. And then turn around and change the listing. Now, how she did that after it was sold, I don't know if she made a false listing, screenshotted it, then deleted it. I would say that's what, what it was. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll be back with you guys. Okay, guys, I got it back together. She got me a, she picked me up a, that's a nice rod. Just said, yeah, just grab me a cheap rod until I can get one. She got me a Berkeley lightning rod shock. So, yeah, nice. I got this fixed. I did order another one, you know, for when this one breaks again. And I ordered that piece there. That goes in there. You don't really need this, but, you know, I like to have it working, so... I took it outside and casted it. Cast crazy. Just like just like I remember these things doing. So yeah. Um so that's that. This is what she got me. The easy braid, 15 pound. Um the easy braid, she they didn't have the the monofilament that I wanted, but that's okay because it's still spider wire. This is some strong stuff. I pulled in 25, 30 pound fish on 10 and 15 pound test before with the spider wire. So, and this, this one, it's 110 yards. So, uh, that's exactly what this takes. I took all the old string off of it. So, there it is, guys. Uh, all right. Well, stay tuned for more videos. I got some. Uh, a lot more videos coming up. Didn't adjust the drag. But there we go. All right. Uh, got several more videos coming up. And I want to talk to you about something else. But that's going to be in another video. Something we've got planned that's coming up real soon it's gonna be a lot of fun you guys are gonna be involved in it so yeah i think you like it all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate it shea bear the myth the man the legend we're off for now when those parts come in we'll take this part together we'll put them in together no problem all right we'll see you guys soon bye bye everyone take care